In today's news, the Scottish Government has expressed deep concern following the UK Government's decision to temporarily halt its funding to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, UNRWA. This decision comes after allegations that 12 UNRWA employees were involved in an attack on October 7, as claimed by Israel. The UNRWA has since dismissed several employees in response to these allegations, and the Foreign Office has withdrawn funding while these serious claims are under review. The Scottish Government has acknowledged the immediate action taken by the UNRWA, including the dismissal of the implicated employees and the launch of a full investigation. It's important to note that last year, the Scottish Government donated £750,000 to the UNRWA to aid Palestinians with access to food, water, shelter, and medical supplies amidst the ongoing Israeli offensive. In light of these recent allegations and their previous funding, the Scottish Government has been in direct contact with the UNRWA, stating they currently have no plans to provide further support at this stage. SNP MP Tommy Shepherd has criticised the UK government's decision, describing it as outrageous and likening it to defunding the NHS because of an accusation against a single nurse. He argues that this decision will only increase the suffering of innocent Palestinians and hinder humanitarian assistance. Other countries, including the US, Australia, Italy and Canada, have also temporarily suspended their funding to the UNRWA. However, Ireland has stated it has no plans to suspend its funding. Deputy Premier Michael Martin supports the UNRWA's actions against the suspected staff, but clarified that Ireland will not follow the lead of the US and UK in suspending funding to the agency.